Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. Let me just uh, drop the volume there a bit. There we go. Alright, last episode um, we managed to get ourselves a little bit of a, a what do you call it? Expedition? <laughs> we also managed to get this bit of scrap here completely finished. We also did a whole bunch of repairs, <clears throat> built some new stuff, new solar panel, and got started on uh, a bunch of other things, particularly more CPUs, which we of course desperately need. Did I miss something? No, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Rita right now is working on the orbital radio. The goal is to get the um, the landing spot ready so that we can uh, uh, signal you if I was to land. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need an orbital radio as well. For that, we need a lot more alloy. So that's why we're building the little outpost, so we can start moving in that direction slowly, slowly. And actually, people are going to be uh, doing little expeditions over here. They can go come over here and rest. Potentially, also get some more food. Uh, but we'll see about that. <clears throat> we'll see how far we get with that. I'm gonna just, just lower the uh, music volume a bit. Music is already pretty low. That, no, that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, so uh, what I want to do this episode, quite simple, we want to get the radio desk finished. We want to start working on um, the uh, freezer and get that up and running again. Uh, we want to start looking into getting some more meat off of these carcasses, which we uh, just collected. <laughs> They're just there by accident. And we want to get some more alloy. Now, the best thing, of course, to do that is to move one of our people, Xander or Carter, over here to uh, mine this stuff. So we want to mine this ore over here. There's a bunch of ore already here. It's like 40, 60 ore. Uh, and these ones, these, these ore nodules um, contain a little bit more. Now we need a lot of ore. So one of these station, one of these uh, orbital antennas already takes a 100 ore, 100 metal or alloy and 100 ore uh, to produce, to build. We still need to have a whole bunch of more ore for the floor, for the construction, and um, we need some more ore and more alloy for more uh, wind turbines and more energy uh, production. So I want to get started looking into maybe getting this nano printing finished. Let me start looking into nano nano uh, fibers and so on, nano sheets, nano tube sheets instead of alloys for everything that might speed things up a bit i don't know i'm not quite sure Th things go differently from when i usually play <laughs> now we want to the goal eventually uh, is to uh mine out one of these insect nests that's why we're building this outside this outpost uh over there we want to get another outpost over here somewhere so we're close to the ore that's over here and there and there and there and you know there's a, pretty, a whole bunch of ore over here a lot of it and that's why we want to have a outpost right around here somewhere now the problem of course is moving all that equipment all that gear down to here and um and actually surviving here it's gonna be kind of difficult that's a challenge so we want to get started with moving xander Where's Rita? Why is Rita? Rita fainted. She's too tired. Ah, poor Rita. Poor, poor Rita. Ravenously hungry and exhausted. She has no energy whatsoever. If I look at her stats, yeah, she needs a lot of rest. She's down to 4%. <laughs> and there's nobody awake to take her up and put her in the bed. I can wake Xander up. Let's put Xander. Let's see if we can carry Rita to bed. See if you can do that. Let's wake up, dude. I know you're groggy and stuff, but I'm the voice in your head. I need you to go get Rita, put her in bed. Oh, she just sprang up <laughs> for a second there. Yes, put her in bed. Just smack her down. Thank you. Good job, dude. Good job. You're a true gentleman. Right, excellent. So he's going back to sleep. So he'll he'll be a little bit tired. That's okay. He's a bit rest. He'll be fine. And then in the morning we'll move him over there. Get some more ore. 
uh, I want to get Carter continuing with the uh, the slaughter of these bugs. I'm currently sitting at 148 raw meat, or raw bug meat at least. I also need somebody to come and observe one of these buggers, so that we know exactly what's going on with these these beasts. Now they weren't much of a challenge. Um, our little small mech handled them all pretty well. Now the the meat that uh, the food that's rotting away is the stuff over here in the, in the field that we can't store because all of our storage is completely full. Uh, also, of course, our storage here, the wooden shelves, are also getting kind of a little bit full. So I might need to build another one of these fridges. So in the fridge, if it's refrigerated, the food stays good for 96 days. Under a roof, um, it's only good for, like as you can see here, 48 days. So if we get into the fridge, it'd be great. If we get them into the freezer, they'll be stored indefinitely. That's even better. The trouble, of course, is that a freezer costs a shit ton of stuff to actually build. So, uh, but it, it, food is not a problem at the moment. We have 26 cooked meals, and I'm pretty happy with that. We have a whole buttload of grains and meats and stuff and everything else. So I'm not worried about that. Why is it blowing so much all of a sudden? We're producing an overabundance of, uh, of power at 200 watts, and we're only using 48. Now, don't get me wrong, that little burst of energy right there was great, right? But it wasn't necessarily needed, because we were already maxed out. We have, let's see, are you still on? No. So we're producing 200 watts, 200 power. And this thing is filling up slow. Are you actually filling up? Are you, are you filling up? Yeah, you're filling up. All right. The batteries are charging. They should be full in a bit. And then they'll last us a little bit longer. Um, I want to get some of these dogs butchered, because there's too many of them. And they'll give us a bit more meat. I want some meat so that we can also... Wait, how much meat do we have? We have zero raw red meat. So that we can... Uh, oh, we can, let's go get this dromedary. It's bleeding, not life-threatening. Um, so we can get this dromedary and get some more meat that'll be excellent so let's see where's carter carter is over here doing absolutely nothing let's get him started on butchering these animals uh butchered bo bloated meat uh, bloated bugs <laughs> xander you're transporting some more uh that stuff and then as soon as you drop that off i need you to come over here and go and harvest some more ore. Mine those ore deposits. Yes, you do that. All right, excellent. So that's all good. Um, fuel is good for these things. Beautiful. I need somebody over here to go and actually put this ore in the uh, refineries. That would be good. Or I mean the furnaces. And we'll get some more from that. I want Layla. She's constructing the floor of our, our outpost. So I'll leave her alone. Uh, maybe Rita, I need her to continue making CPU cores. We currently only have one. I need a bunch more um, because our antennas require two CPU cores each. So Rita, I need her to do more limit reached. Wait, do I, did I, okay, let's just, let's just put another couple of them. So craft circuitry, nope. Uh, craft, yes. So CPU cores, I need four CPU cores. So I want Rita over here to come and do that. Not enough resources. Why not? Do we not have enough? Oh, we don't have enough alloy. That's right. So each CPU core, to craft it, takes five metal alloy, which of course we don't have. So maybe if I get Rita... Where is Rita? She's transporting oil. Okay, I need her to get this um, no fuel. Okay, this thing doesn't have any fuel. What? It says fuel for 10 days or 23 hours. Kind of weird. Smelt some alloys. There we go. So she's going to handle those furnaces. Beautiful. Beautiful. Carter is still butchering. And Layla is putting together this floor. Excellent. So as soon as the floor is done, we'll be able to put down a, a, a room over it. Put some beds, two or three beds in there. Build a little wall around it. And put some storage there. 
I want some storage so that we can start putting down some more so we can store some food here and uh, potentially some uh, supplies some medical supplies also good and um, just maybe 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 put on a, a tart I'm not sure I don't think that's necessary to put a tart there but. I mean it's not a vital st structure it's only a temporary outpost it's just a, a stopgap a footstep a beachhead <laughs> something that will get us started handling a uh, furnace beautiful So this thing's only got 22 hours. This one's got one day and eight hours. This thing's got 10 hours and you have one day and one hour. Old equipment? Who's got old equipment? Uh, some shoes. Krista is wearing some old shoes. If that makes sense. Um, Paulette needs a new jacket and some new shoes. And that's pretty much it. So who's wearing the... Kind of wondering who's wearing the vest. Because in the last episode, cargo pod. Ooh, that's important. I like that. So it's time to set up an expedition. Let's see, where is this cargo pod? There it is. So it's kind of burning at the moment. So we'll need to send somebody over there right away. So we can put Layla in there. Let's go put her, set her on the expedition. Beautiful. So she'll go um, on this expedition. She was all the way out here, so she's going to have to run all the way back. She's going to be annoyed about that, but it's okay. Carter's coming over to replace her. Great. And these um, Takakli are trying to kill my Dromadera. <laughs> no, no. Run away, run away, dude. I want to hunt you instead. These animals, Takakli, are constantly pushing these, uh, pushing my uh, my hunted or the animals and so on that I can actually hunt further and further away. This thing is going to bleed. Is it broken bones? Is it going to bite? Yeah, it's, it's going to die very fast. Bleed to death. It'll be dead in 1.5 hours. And then these guys are going to have a feast. Because this thing has... Wait, wait, what? Did I select one more? Let's see. So this thing has up to 40 uh, raw meat, which is quite great. The trouble, of course, is that we don't have much in the way of dromedaire in our region here. They've all run away. They've all been killed. The closest herd that I remember was over here somewhere. Now they've also been stra they've been scared away by these guys. So if we want to go after the herd, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to do something about that. Let's look at Xander. We just got a heat stroke. Don't really care. Should be fine. Xander is mining his way away. Good, good, good. So we have 60 uh, ore right there. And I need a little bit more. Heat stroke, there we go. That's 80 ore. It's 20 there. I'm guessing these smaller nodes, like this one for instance, or like that, has 20 ore. And everything else also 20 ore, 20 ore, 20 ore, 20 ore. It doesn't matter the size, they all have 20 ore. That's nice. Alright, let's, let's get this thing uh, on the road. So, um, I can't put, I can't put this grain, it's all gonna go away, isn't it? It's all gonna just disappear. 680 grain, it's not much left there. Uh, a lot of our food is, is perishable <laughs> let me put it that way where is Rita Rita's sleeping she's still sleeping did she go to bed after I put her to work crafting one of those cores we currently have only one CPU core okay she didn't make anything yet she didn't even start yet there's only one there and I think that's because we don't have any alloy I still need like upwards of 70 uh, alloy to be able to actually uh, produce anything so we have a hundred ore here. Xander is almost done with this. I'm gonna send him home straight away because last time he collapsed, he fainted. Yeah, see his rest is at 12%. So now he needs to get home soon. If he doesn't get any rest, he'll faint. And then it'll be open in the he'll be out here in the open. So let's draft him. Undraft him. 
Yeah, get your ass back home, dude. It's too bad we can't he can't run with ore in his hand. That's the main problem. So as soon as we get to handling the furnace, someone's gonna have to walk all the way over there. Probably gonna be Carter. Uh, collect some of that ore and come all the way back again. Now that ore that we saw there, that uh, Xander is actually uh, actively taking apart, is the last bunch of ore in this region that we can uh, readily, quite easily get to. There isn't much more. This place is going to be ore less in a bit. So there is, this is rock. So if I want to get more ore, I'm going to have to either get more scrap, which is perfectly fine, because there are a whole bunch of these uh, scrap buildings, I mean ships and stuff, uh, crash ships and so on all over the place. So we could get some ore from that. We got some more dromedaire over here, but that's still pretty far away. Uh, there's no ore in these mountains, sad enough. I wish there was. And besides, this is the, this is the edges of the map, we can't go further than this. That's pretty much it. So we have um, spaceship debris here, we have spaceship debris there. That we can all just uh, quite happily take apart and get some spaceship debris right there. I'm pretty happy and confident that we can get some more scrap from that as well. We have 83 scrap. If we can turn some of that into ore, it'll be great. But I don't want to use all of it because I need some of it for solar panels. Now, the reason why I want to build more solar panels is because... Oh, ships. Krista's got her meltdown? Why, why are you, what's, wrong, what, what's wrong with you, Krista? Why are you uh, close to your meltdown? Ravenously hungry. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> You go eat something. Rita is awake. I think she's fully rested, isn't she? Let's look at her stats. Nah, she's still not fully rested. Fullness is pretty good though. 50%. Happiness, 41%. Relaxation, 81%. She's okay. She could use a little bit more rest though. She's still tired. Go back to bed, woman. Alright, so we'll need to, her, need to get her back to bed so that we can get her back to work. Making CPU cores. And we need Krista here. She's at 99% for the um, for the nanotube printer. Will be great. Trouble is, of course, do we have the materials to actually print any nanotubes? <laughs> That's also a good question. How much uh, insect meat do we have? We have uh, zero raw insect meat. I think we gave everything to the dogs. Yes, we gave everything to the dogs. We had 100. That's almost 200. 252 to one insect meat right there in that um, doggy bag. Let's take a walk. How much power are we producing right now? 78 power. Thankfully our wind turbines are doing quite a good job. Producing, yeah, so it's 26 out of 40 power right there. That's good. Got 23 alloy. I need a little bit more for the base, the pad. And once that's completed, then we can start focusing all that alloy on uh, saving all that alloy so that we can build the orbital antenna, which is also vital. But we need some two CPU cores and a power cell for that. Yeah, yeah, I know the stuff is rotting away. Risk of meltdown, Xander. Yeah, just you're almost there, man. You're almost there. He's incredibly unhappy. <laughs> Insufficient fuel. That's okay. Uh, but he'll be fine before he gets home. Uh, he'll have a little before he goes to bed. He'll probably eat something. Um, oh no, he collapsed. He's too tired. So I need to get Layla. Uh, Layla's on trip, of course. Uh, Paulette, can you come over here and collect him, carry him to bed? It's pretty far away, but she should be able to run all the way over here. She is. Yeah, she has a lot of happiness. She's she's pretty happy. She's pretty full. Blah blah blah. She has a lot of energy, so she should be able to carry him back home. That shouldn't be a problem. Everybody else has gone to bed, except for Leila, who's an uh, expedition. Uh, Carter is sleeping in his bed over here. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. All right, now, if we can get the outpost completed, which is pretty close to be complete, uh, we'll put some storage here as well. Let's go put a storage. Uh, I need a camp. Let's put a shelter here. A lot of scrap sticks. I think sticks will be a better one. Put it on this side of the, of the hut. There. 
And then we'll get rid of these trees and sticks and stuff like that. And then we'll put some storage in here. That should give us some uh, ability to store some more food. Oh, we have some more hunting as well to do here as well. Nice. Xander, are you in bed yet? Not yet. <laughs> well, that is running or walking as fast as she can with you on her shoulders. She's a strong lady. Insufficient fuel, 26. Yeah, we need to get some more sticks. Uh, maybe we should get Carter to clear out this space over here. We have a whole bunch of sticks here, here, and here that are in the way and are causing our little bit of a problem with the stone walls. I also need more stone, so let's either clear some sticks or get some more stone. Now, if we get some more stone, that stone can be used on the outpost, so I think that's probably a good idea to do first. Let's go send Carter to get some more stone. Xander can go and get his ore again and refill um, these furnaces. Rita can get to work. Paulette can keep continue making more food. I, actually, I want her to go and craft some more uh, clothing. I think I'm, I'll probably need to do that first. Get some more hats. And luckily, thanks to uh, some good luck, the heat wave is gone. So we don't need uh, these fans anymore. Well, we'll leave them on anyway, because they do cool down everybody a bit. Expedition complete. Okay. It's a crash site of a small cargo pod. There are so all sorts of crates and spiled resources scattered around. Most of them are already unusable or are still burning. Uh, save anything that could be eaten. I find some usable clothes. Put out the fire so we can visit and search the place later. Mm. So this will unlock the expedition, but it will just make sure make her come back without anything. Just put out the fires. Why not? I don't really need anything. I don't need the food or the clothing. I mean, the clothing would be nice, but I mean, I don't need it per se. Um, so that will be used for later. We'll just get her back home. I mean, we, we wasted that little expedition, but that's okay. You can always just come and get some more stuff later on. Let's go and eat something. What's wrong with you, man? Go back to sleep. Go to sleep. <sighs> he needs to eat. He's completely, he's ravenously hungry. Starving at the moment. So he definitely needs something to eat. His happiness is really low. If he gets something to eat, then I think that'll be fine. Then he'll be okay. Somebody put a pot of uh, meat soup on the floor. Two pots of meat soup on the floor. And there goes Paulette. Going to sleep. Alright, so. As soon as Xander is back up and running again, he's currently looking kind of... Yeah, his rest is not that bad. We'll get him to go get some more... I'll send Carter with him as well. Get some more of that ore. Bring it back for processing. And then um, as soon as Layla is back, we'll get her back to getting some more scrap. And getting these, these scrap metal sites uh, fixed up. Not fixed up, but emptied out. And... Carter, what are you doing over there? Let's go get Carter started with this. So he dropped a bunch of ore around here somewhere. It was in the bushes here. I'm pretty sure of it. I don't know where he stopped it, <laughs> where he said it. <laughs> um, but we can we can just get him. Oh, hello. Auto save again. What is this? This is this drop pod site. Let's get him to collect some of his ore, preserved by Xander Norwich. Okay, Xander, what are you doing? Alright, he's coming to get the ore, okay. We researched, um, that was a waste. Wait, did she get the research started for cereal coffee? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a pain. Uh, actually, let's get her to fix up these lights. And... I'm thinking about maybe we shouldn't put this fridge, this freezer right there. I want to put the freezer somewhere else instead. Animal flu? Dusty, you got the flu. He's got he's got a little bit of flu and needs a little bit of uh, of healing. With Carter, good job, Carter. Zan is getting the, the ore to bring you back for us, and we have light here. Beautiful. All right, so now. Production availability. We have the 3D printer. Uses used for production of carbon nanotubes. And we need CPU cores for this. 
but we can get started with putting it down. So I want to put one down over here. We're going to need a ton of these things in the future. So one there. And it's going to suck up a whole bunch of power. So um, metal alloys, 10 electronics, 5. How much electronics do we have? We have still got 5 electronics. Great. We only have one CPU core. So I need Rita. I need transporting more oil. Okay. I need her to get back to crafting. Yes. Good. Craft CPU cores. Alright, she got all that stuff for the CPU core. Beautiful. We have 24, uh, 28 alloys, so it's all okay. 10 of that's going to go to this thing. The one CPU core that we have available is going to go into there, and then we'll have another one as soon as Rita is actually going to stop work. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Alright, so that's, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, this thing is also constructed beautifully. So I want to get Krista on that. So if Krista can start constructing the metal floor, that'll be great. Let's get Krista, let's change her activities. Krista needs to go from research to construction. There we go. I need her to actually do some work on actually building stuff. So that she can, we can get this wall completed. Also really great. And Carter is handling a fermentation barrel. No, I need her to go and get me some more stone. So mine these rocks, please. Thank you. There's also a rock here in the wall. I don't think anybody can get to that. I'll leave it in there because I'm curious. <laughs> See what happens. Um, I've got one insufficient CPU core and 15 um, sticks. But we're also missing 212 stone. So Carter is going to be working on that. Krista? Repairing punchy pole? No, I need you to do this. Just construct this thing. Come on, just do this. Just finish it. We've been waiting for this such a long time. I know you can do it. Just hammer it once, twice, done. Look how good she is. Construct this thing, come on. Somebody else can fix the punchy pole. What's wrong with it anyway? Ah, oh, its integrity is pretty low. Now we have 26 meals. I can get Paulette to fix this thing. Uh, repair punchy pole. You do that. So Krista can now just focus her entire attention on making this floor. Where are you going? No, I'm not there. <laughs> I knew that was going to be the problem. Come back here. We need you to stay here. I need you to finish this thing instead. Uh, where is Xander? Xander is halfway... Oh, he's almost there. Good. So he's going to pick up a whole bunch of uh, ore for us. Bring it back. We have to keep an eye on Krista, because she's going to just uh, clear the construction site. Good stuff. We got some sticks from that. Carter's still mining. We'll get some more stone. We need a lot of stone. 212... Uh, 200 and something stone, right? 212. 212 stone. That's how much we need. 10 sticks. All these sticks are good stuff. All right, that's good. We'll get this thing completed as well. And once we have the site cleared out, we can actually start looking into uh, finishing this off and then put down um, this landing spot. It's one step for me. How are you going? All right, she's working on the floor. Good stuff. You just hammered once and you're quitting? No. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what kind of a tool belt she has, but she just got a tomahawk out of that, uh, out of her pocket. That's pretty cool. <coughs> Wish I could do that. What, is it, what are you doing, Carter? You're transporting 120 stones. Good. Pull that is sleeping, Krista. Yes. Sides cleared. We've got a whole bunch more sticks. No, 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 no. Where, where are you going? Come up. Come back here. Come back here. Start this floor. I need you to finish it. It'd be nice if you could. Just trade in your tomahawk. No more scalping. <laughs> wow. That's a multi-tool right there. Hammer that can turn into an axe, can turn into a knife. Basically anything you want to use it for. No. Can you just construct the floor? That's the only thing you have to do. 
keeps wanting to run away over and do the floor over there. I know that's that's what you would like to do, because it's much easier than this. But I need you to do this instead. If I if I don't pay attention to her, she's gonna run off immediately. And we won't see her again for days. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, this floor over here. Where, where Layla's back? Layla's back, and she's gonna go finish that floor. Excellent. So we'll just have to wait. We can get Layla to work here as well. Let's just get Layla to do some help as well here. Come on, just, just. Oh, she really doesn't want to either. Look at her. It's like, oh, do I really have to? Just a couple of seconds ago, you were running to construct a floor, and now you're just trying to run away. <laughs> uh, construct metal floor. Come on. We're almost done. We're almost. Seriously, this is this is this is the most important thing that you have ever done, and you will be happy once it's done, because then we'll actually be able to start getting stuff from space. Not much stuff, but it'll be good stuff. All right, Krista, just just stay here, will you? Okay, go and fix the orbital radio thing instead. Thing is, it's getting dark, and I don't want her running off. Xander is going to sleep. I think he dropped the pack of uh, ore that we, he was carrying. I'm not quite sure where he dropped it. I just hope it's going to be enough. All right, look at that. It's beautiful. It's done. So let's put our landing spot right there. It's just a couple of... I'm not quite sure what it is. It's just a bunch of time. So somebody has to paint some stripes on this thing. <laughs> I think that's the only problem, that the only thing that to do. The rest is going to be pretty simple. A lot of time with the wall torches. This is almost done with the radio tour uh, station. We'll be able to uh, discuss the abundance of food with Rita. Well, what does she know about food? Well, she is a farmer. She likes to farm. Yeah, she likes farming. But she hasn't farmed anything yet. She hasn't planted anything. So none of these fields are planted. And right now, I think we need to get started with planting the grain and probably also the glitter caps. That would be nice. Where are you going? Y you do know that halfway there, you're going to just come right back and go back to bed, right? Oh. <laughs> do we not have any lights here? Is that, is that the problem? All the wall torches on the, on the sleeping area are uh, are offline because they don't have any fuel. I need some new clothes soon. Xander, what clothes do you need? So you need some... You already got some shoes. We, we do have t-shirts. No, we don't have any t-shirts. We have vests. We have a coat, fur coat, leather vest. I need to make some t-shirts. That's what I gotta do. Paulette, where are you at? Paulette is... And the torches. I need her to craft me a t-shirt. Do some t-shirts for me, please. Thank you. Excellent. And then Krista. <laughs> uh, Leila's running back. Well, Krista's running all the way over here. You do realize, guys, that this is not going to work, right? All right. Well, anyways, I'll have to see what what happens. Still need to butcher these dogs. Nobody seems to have the time for that, or nobody wants to. I'm not quite sure. Either way, it'll be fine. So I need to get somebody to start. We only have one of the two CPU cores in there. So we need to get Rita uh, working on the last CPU core. She doesn't have enough. What, do we have enough silicon? Yes, we have enough silicon. We have enough ore. We got 120 coming. Uh, so I don't think that's a problem. I'm going to put down the orbital radio antenna. I don't even need more CPU cores. Bloody hell. So I'm going to put you right there. Now this thing is going to be annoying because it's going to attract bugs even more than uh, before. So we'll probably have to put a couple of turrets around here to make sure that they don't attack this thing. 
This thing keeps on bugging the hell out of every living creature in this area. Um, pulling them closer and closer and stuff like that. Uh, to our little site, our little campsite. Well, it's not really a campsite anymore, but... You know what I mean. And I'm not entirely sure if they would break through the wall to get at it, or if they would go around to get at it. It's uh, probably a question that I'm going to have to try and see if I can answer. Let's deconstruct this wall, deconstruct that wall. I need um, defense. Let's put a fence gate in here. Uh, poles. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to put it like this. I want I want to be able to move um, the uh, the mech through here as well, in case we really need it. And like a gate, maybe we put a gate here. It's, it's only 20 wide, so probably like that. It seems like a good fit. We'll leave it there like that. I want to turn these walls into fortifications anyway, so that's all good. Kind of wondering if I should do it with concrete or if I should do it with sticks. Huh. I'm not sure, entirely sure. So we're missing 80 alloy. So we need to get that much more. Um, that's a bit of a pain. And two CPU cores, 15 sticks and 92 stone. So I'm probably going to get send Carter back down over here to get some more stone. Uh, Xander is going to have to go and get some more ore. Some more, uh, so we can make some more alloy. Because we have only 30 at the moment. And Paulette. Wait, who's handling the front? What? Who? Um, ships. Is that you, Carter? <laughs> Carter, where the hell are you going, dude? Uh, he's moving all the way over here. This is probably where... Yeah, this is where uh, Xander just dropped everything and ran back home. Carter, do you even have the energy for this? Rest and... You won't be able to... You just pick it up, move two steps, drop it, and then run right back. This is not going to work, dude. Ugh. It's just so far away. And the ore over there that we want to get at is even further away. So we desperately need to move, make this, uh, this outpost here and then the second outpost on the other hill there. Then we'll see what we can, we can do. I think we'll probably need to build a second mech. One with oh, the integrity is also low on this thing. I need to repair it as well. I'm kind of wondering if, how do we. Uh, somebody's gonna have to repair it. Somebody's gonna have to repair it. If we can move the mech or one of its. like an, another mech to the outpost over there, that is what we need to attack that insect nest there and get some uh, nanotubes. Deconstructing fence. Cool, you do that. And the only problem at the moment is that unless we get this fence built as soon as possible, right? Um, we have a huge giant hole in our defenses. Because <laughs> we now have a gate here that we can close if we build it. Which, of course, we haven't yet. We only have 57 wood. Pregnant animal. You got another pregnant animal? Stop being pregnant, Savannah. Shoot, you are a busy girl, aren't you? So I need Krista. She's playing darts. Got a thunderstorm coming in. Krista's playing darts with her helmet on. <sighs> I need this wall finished. I need somebody to construct the end of the fence. Where are you going? You're getting some more stuff. Yeah, so he needs more stone. So Carter is currently handling the furnace. He's moving with a whole bunch of ore. I'm not quite sure how much though. It's probably enough, hopefully. So he got all the way up here, but he has to go all the way down now. So as soon as as soon as Xander is done with eating, I'm gonna move him up into that uh, area over there to continue mining the stone. Mine ore deposits, five of those, beautiful. Get me all of it. I need all of that ore. So we have some silicon over here. I don't really care much about at the moment. Is there any more ore here? Just kind of just checking around. I don't see any more. It's pretty easy to, to see that. that. This is ore here. Some ore over there. 
So we have a little bit of ore that we can potentially maybe just about reach here. And then we also have an insect nest here. I think the ore is just about manageable. Uh, let's start talking to Krista. Krista, what are you doing? You're still sleeping? Jayla is finishing the fence. And Carter is still hauling that stuff. Good stuff, dude. Jayla, I need you to go get me some more stone. Rita, I need her to craft some more. Not that stuff. I need her to catch this, this CPU cores. I need that done as soon as possible. Oh, we're in a, in a balloon. And Paulette, what, what, what are you making? You're making a whole bunch of bread. That's what you're doing. Good stuff. Good for you. Can I interest you in something else other than bread? Meats too? That's something you can do? Yes. Make some meat stew for me. <laughs> Insufficient fuel. So the dogs will be fine for a little while before they run out of food again. We still have a whole bunch of this stuff over here to, to, uh, to take apart. The shelf life is pretty low though. Most of it's already rotted away. I don't think it's worth spending the time butchering these animals. Uh, butchering those uh, dead animals over there. So we'll leave them alone. Blood is going to make us some meats too. That's nice stuff. Nice, nice, nice. So Xander is probably still running. Yeah, look at him. That's just a really colorful rock. It's not what I'm looking for. Carter fell asleep. Oh, he's going to sleep. So he probably dropped the ore somewhere around here. I'm not at all entirely sure where he dropped it. Xander, how was your rest? Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. So I'm pretty sure he'll be able to get that. Krista is crossing the floor. Rita is... I'm not quite sure what the hell she's doing. Jayla? Oh, she's already over here. They really, really, really want to finish this floor over here. They really can't stand it that it's not done yet. It's itching in the back of their heads. Alright, fine. You just do that. But just hurry up, please. I mean, I know I need the outpost. I know it's very important. But it's only one. Okay, this site over here, this insect nest, is not that far away from the uh, from our base here. So we can most likely come and attack that. We'll just move the mech over here. Um, attack the, the, the insect nest and extract what we want from it. Because you have to actually mine these rock postules to get the nanotubes. And you won't get much, but it's, it'll be enough for something. Seriously, that's, that's what you do. Just tap, 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 and the floor is done. <laughs> oh, good for you. All right. There we have it. The outpost is ready or done. Let's put some planks here. Let's get this... Let's put a door there. Excellent. That is our outpost. And this is a dead animal. Uh, Jayla, can you butcher this thing? Thank you. It'll give us a little bit more food. Some more insect meat. We need to get started with doing some more grains on the floor and the, the ground. So if, as soon as Rita is done with the assembly of the CPU core, uh, we'll have enough for this 3D printer and potentially get started with cpu cores for this thing it's going to take a while before we're done this and this is not we don't this is not a rush job we need to be done proper carter you're sleeping again seriously you just came back okay fine <laughs> i'm not quite sure what the hell happened here i need carter to do something else i need him to actually close this wooden gate can you do that for me do we even have enough wood we do have enough wood you can sleep some other time so his rest is kind of low, he's at 1%. I'm pretty sure he's going to collapse any second now. He's going to faint. He'll most likely faint. There he goes. <laughs> uh, where's Paulette? Paulette, can you grab a carry car to safety? I mean, I could... 
actually did hold the wood, but this is perfectly fine as well. Krista, what are you doing? Uh, Jayla, what are you doing? You're hauling a bunch of food. Excellent. Well, that is carrying Carter. Xander is mining some more stone. He's still pretty full, so I'm going to let him continue to mine. So that's not going to be a problem. And the next bit of mining he has to do is beyond this little ridge here, right? Yeah. So this is a little hoppy. So he has to go down here, go up here, and then mine here. That will give us a little bit more ore. There's a little bit of ore there, and there's a whole bunch of ore there. That's definitely worth trying to get. Seriously, why is this why is this damaged? Who, who the hell damaged it? And where's Krista? Krista fainted again? Krista, what the hell? Did you knock your head? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the hell happened there. Uh, Paulette is also sleeping. Rita is uh, assembling the CPU core. She's pretty good at that. Uh, Jayla, she's still walking with that stuff. As soon as she's back, I need her to actually complete this gate. Now, if we can get this wall here completed, uh, I'm confident that the um, the radar dish will be safe. Reasonably safe, right? Reasonably safe. The gate over here is going to be open, so that means that anything, anytime you're trying to attack this thing, for instance, needs to go all the way around and then get through there. So that basically means that they have to get through our little gauntlet. Uh, all right, well, that's, that's pretty much it for now, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> somebody should go get Rita. Oh, Krista, I mean, Krista's in some... No, she's not in trouble. She's in the grass. She's, she's fine. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what she's doing. I think she was working on the wall. Uh, good girl, a good girl. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. We'll get started on finishing the wall. Uh, getting that ore that uh, Xander has been mining out and Carter has been trying to haul all the way over here and then we will see what happens then. Anyways, have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.